So that's what we say. Compounds, which are just uh, when we combine two things together, they're formed when atoms of different elements unite in fixed proportion. And again, you have to realize that's an incredible leap forward back a few hundred years ago because you know, if you didn't know anything about chemistry, how would you know that this paper is not a pure element? How would you know that this marker, this plastic, is not a pure element? You wouldn't really know that. It was an incredible leap to figure out that there are these pure elements. And at the time, they didn't know about all of them. Of course, we're still discovering new elements every year here in the 21st century. But we know that there's a certain number, there's about 120 or so, pure elements. Everything else, the plastic, the paper, uh, my shirt, all this stuff is made up of combinations of those pure things. And that's where the chemistry starts coming into play. How can we design a new compound to do something useful? How do we make a CD-ROM made of this durable plastic? How do we design that? That's where chemistry comes into play. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.